Hey guys, welcome to this curling tactics drill. Today we're going to be discussing the drag effect. So let's say we have an opponent stone here, uh, just left of the line of center line, and we have two stones here. They're lined up perfectly for our red stone to shoot right by their stone on the button. Well, these stones are about one inch apart here. Actually, they're about uh, three quarters of an inch apart. And when introducing this concept to curlers, a lot of times, especially new curlers, they'll think, well, we need to hit this uh, first stone, this blue stone on this side, in order to hit this red stone on this side to hit it. And that's not what we wanna do here. We wanna utilize the drag effect. So if the stones are two inches or less apart, we can utilize the drag effect. So basically what that means is we want to draw a line as the skip. We want to draw a line from this stone straight through the center of the red stone and then straight through the stone, the object stone that we're gonna hit, which is right here. So we need to hit it right there on that edge, which would put the red stone about right here, the one we're throwing. And that's about, uh, almost a half a stone, about a thick quarter to half, a third, we'll call it a third, yeah, a third of the blue stone. So with the heavy weight coming down here, it's gonna hit this stone, the momentum of this stone, this stone is gonna transfer into these stones. So you just kind of pretend that this stone's not even here and boom, straight back into that blue stone, ideally. So let's give it a test here the best we can just by pushing it on the ice and see if we can watch, actually watch the drag effect in action here. And one other concept I should have mentioned it in my previous video on splits, I'll uh, put a link below for that. The turn can make a difference in my opinion because we want the momentum to be going towards the stone that we wanna hit. So if we're coming down this way, the momentum with the uh, out turn counterclockwise, the momentum is going this way. Whereas if we were coming with the in turn, the momentum would be going away from this stone. So I just say, add that little bit of extra, even if you don't think it exists, add that little bit of extra momentum going in the direction of the stone that you wanna hit in the house. Just like that, we just saw the drag effect in action. So hopefully you can use that in your next, the next time you see that line up like that. But keep in mind again, that the stones should be, you know, two inches or less apart, or you're gonna not see that drag effect occur. Then you do wanna hit it on the other side to try to make the angles line up. 